In this video tutorial, you will learn how to start your Spring Boot application on a random port number. And this is very helpful when you need to start multiple instances of same Spring Boot application and then balance HTTP requests between the running instances. If you're interested to learn how to balance HTTP requests between multiple running instances of the same Spring Boot application, then check the link in the description of this video about Spring Boot microservices and Spring Cloud. All right, so to start your application on a random port number, you will need to set the server port to zero. Let's see how it works. Right now, I have a very simple Spring Boot application opened and I have application properties file opened. And here's my server port number, which is set to 80 and 10. To make this application start up on a random port number, I'll need to set server port to zero. All right, so now I will save application properties file and I will simply start up this application as a Spring Boot app. My application is up and running. And if I look into the console here, I'll see that Tomcat started on port and then 61649. If I restart this application, it will start on a different port number again. All right, so another way to start your application on a random port number is to pass this server port number as a runtime argument when starting your Spring Boot application. And to do that, I'll need to bring terminal window and then change the current directory to the home folder of my Spring Boot application. And if I list files here, I should be able to see POM XML file. And now I can start my Spring Boot application and pass the server port number via command line argument and overwrite whatever value is configured in the application properties file. And to do that, I will use Maven command and then simply pass the server port as one of the command line arguments. And to do that, I'll need to use dash dash and then the value of configuration property, which is server port equals and then zero. Now, if I run this, I see that my application started on a different port number. When I run it the first time, it started on port 61649 and now it has started on 61777. All right, so everything is working well and now you know how to start multiple instances of your Spring Boot application and each instance will start on a different port number.